According to the Centers for Disease Control, recent estimates place the prevalence of all autism spectrum disorders combined at 1 per 88 people. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers. At Suffolk University's downtown Boston studio, Liesl Masenka, board chair of the New England Center for Children, will discuss the prevalence of autism and the transforming work of the center. Thanks for being here. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. All right, so for people that haven't heard about the center before, tell people what it's all about. It really is a place that transforms the lives of children with autism. It's a school that's been around for over 35 years. Uh, it's a school in Southboro. They also have a second school in the United Arab Emirates in Abu Dhabi. And they're in, um, in different school systems uh, in, across the country and uh, even in fact around the world. So people are learning more about autism, hearing more about autism. So what is the center doing specifically to combat autism? It does so many things. Like I said earlier, they have the students in their actual schools. They're also constantly doing research on what's the most effective and best way to treat children uh, with autism. And then they disseminate that research, both through publishing journals so they can share that knowledge with other clinicians. They also have graduate programs where their teachers get masters and PhD degrees, graduate, and then go out and teach children again around the country and around the world so that those children can benefit from the New England Center's expertise. Um, they also are in public schools. Uh, in, in fact, they're in public schools around the country, in New York City public schools, um, around schools here in Massachusetts, and in fact we have over 75 classrooms in Boston public schools. Very extensive. So are there specific strategies that the center has developed itself? One of the things that we're really the most proud of is the Autism Curriculum Encyclopedia. It's the centers decide to put all of their knowledge and they can constantly continue with their research, update it constantly. And they put all of their knowledge and, and their curriculum for the best ways to treat children with autism in the ACE, this online curriculum encyclopedia. And then schools, including the school in Abu Dhabi and the school in, in Southborough, use that curriculum to, uh, again, transform the lives of these children to make them reach their what's the their maximum potential. And talk about how important it is to educate the teachers and how you're able to do that with the center as well. That's one of the great things too is that it's it, I th almost think of New England Center for Children like a teaching hospital. These, these teachers come to the center they learn the best techniques and how to treat children with autism and then they take that knowledge and spread it back to where they've come from and may that, maybe that's California, maybe that's New Hampshire, maybe that's London, maybe that's South America and then all of those children because as you said in your intro with 1 in 88 people affected with autism the need is so great and the New England Center for Children is really doing what they can to make sure that excellent autism treatment is available to everyone who needs it. And for people watching at home, what advice would you give to parents who have a child that has been diagnosed on the autism spectrum? Oh, I get that question a lot and uh, parents are so sad, you know, that they get this diagnosis for their child and it's heartbreaking. But what I tell parents is to have hope that autism is a disease just like really any other disease, like different kinds of cancers, diabetes, heart disease. So while there is no cure, it is treatable. And places like the New England Center for Children, which is the preeminent place for treating children with autism, gives you hope. So reach out, ask your local school system to get the ACE in their classroom, look into, tour the school in Southboro and find out. And it's nice to know that there is so much support. So the center has established itself in other parts of the world. You mentioned Abu Dhabi with about 20 seconds left. What, what was the decision behind that? It really all comes down to parents. Parents came to, the, to Boston because their children were uh, diagnosed with autism, asked where it's the best place for their child to get the world-class treatment they needed, and it was the New England Center for Children. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing a little bit about the center with us today, Liesl. It's my pleasure. And thank you for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jenny Johnson.